So thanks to Minecraft 1.13, it has never been easier to move items around your world using droppers and the new water mechanics that will shoot items all the way to the surface. But I still see people constantly making the mistake of overcomplicating the dropper system or the dropper circuit in order to spit out the items onto the soul sand elevator. So today I'm going to go over two circuits that are very simple that you can utilize in your world. And we're starting right now. So the goal here is to make an extremely simple item elevator. And you can do this by simply putting some soul sand with water source blocks all the way up to the surface in your world. Then all you need is something that is going to drop the items into the water. And there you go. You have items flying all the way to the surface of your world. Very simple to do. Now all you have to do is figure out this circuitry. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's build our first circuit. So for the sake of this tutorial, we're actually not going to cover the water elevator part of this. We're only going to focus on the dropper system since that's the only part of this that has any type of redstone to it. So to get started here, what we're going to do is have a dropper facing out like this with a comparator facing out of the back. Then we're going to run that into a block with a repeater coming out of the side and a repeater going back into the side of the comparator. Then the last thing that you want to do is take some redstone dust, run it around to the dropper, and there you go. You have this entire system done. Put in some dirt or whatever block you need, and it will always spit it out, and you can spit it right into an item elevator and have these going straight up to the top. Super, super simple design, but we can actually make this with one less repeater. So let me show you that circuit design as well. Okay, so before I show you this circuit, I just want to forewarn you that this one is faster and slightly cheaper, but it will cost a little bit more lag on your end or on the server's end because it is running faster. So if you don't have the best PC or the best server in the world, I would recommend sticking to the first design that I showed you. But without further ado, let's go ahead and crack on with this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a dropper facing out like this with a comparator going out of the back of it. We're going to have it run into a block just like last time, but this time we're going to put a redstone dust on that block. We're going to put a piece of wool here that that way, this piece of redstone dust is actually going to power this dropper. Now, the last thing that you need to do is put a redstone repeater facing out of this block and run you some redstone dust right in the side of this comparator. Now, if you put anything inside of here, you will see that it is quite faster. But like I said, this one will lag out your server just a little bit more because it is so much faster. So... Kind of pick your poison here. This one's also a little bit easier to decorate around because you can do the whole face of this and just have it like that. Whereas this one, if you were to try and do that, you're going to run into an issue with that piece of redstone there. So kind of pick your poison here. Both of them are really good circuit designs and both of them will work for your item elevator, but just kind of decide which one works best for you in your world. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for me today. I do hope that you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like on the video as well as if you're new around here. Be sure to subscribe so you guys can watch my Let's Play where I use a lot of circuits all the time in order to make some really cool builds. And uh, we're actually building some of this stuff that you see in the background in that Let's Play. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. You guys have a great day.